As many of you already know, the BRICS group, initially comprising Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, expanded its membership on January 1, 2024, to include five new countries, Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates. This expansion is a significant step for the BRICS, as it not only increases the bloc's geographical diversity and economic footprint, but also enhances its strategic and geopolitical leverage. However, the expansion of the bloc is set to continue, with additional countries queued up to join. We explore these questions using the most current data available in this video. Before we continue, please consider showing your support by clicking the like button. Your engagement helps us connect with more viewers like you. Thank you for your support. Moreover, if you have any suggestions, comments, or additional insights, please let us know in the comments section. Let's get started. According to our search and based on different resources, the following countries have formally applied to join the BRICS alliance, Algeria, Bahrain, and Indonesia. Additionally, several nations have expressed their interest in joining, including Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Mexico, Nicaragua, Nigeria, Pakistan, Senegal, Sudan, Syria, Thailand, Tunisia, Turkey, Uruguay, Venezuela, and Zimbabwe. Let's have a quick look at the major advantage and strong positions of the future countries in alphabetic order. Afghanistan is rich in mineral resources, crucial for modern electronics, including rare earth elements. Algeria is a significant player in the global energy market with vast oil and gas reserves offering strategic energy partnerships to BRICS. Bahrain boasts a developed financial services sector, potentially providing financial expertise and investment opportunities to BRICS. Bangladesh is a key global textile producer, central to the fashion industry. Belarus shines with its robust IT sector and software development capabilities. Indonesia, as Southeast Asia's largest economy, contributes a rapidly growing digital economy and plays a vital role in the region's economic diversity. Kazakhstan impacts global energy markets with its substantial oil and uranium reserves. Mexico serves as a major automotive manufacturing hub, essential to North American supply chains. Nicaragua is enhancing its renewable energy sector, particularly in geothermal energy, leveraging its volcanic activity. Nigeria stands as Africa's largest economy and top oil producer, and is also developing a significant tech industry. Pakistan offers a strategic location as a conduit between South Asia and Central Asia, and has a notable textile industry. Senegal is becoming a center for West African finance and tourism. Sudan possesses rich agricultural prospects, especially in the Nile Basin, and significant gold mining operations. Syria before the conflict was a significant cultural and historical site, with a diverse economy including agriculture and oil. Thailand attracts tourists globally and has a strong agricultural sector, especially known for rice and rubber. Tunisia enjoys a strategic Mediterranean position with a focus on growing its renewable energy and technology sectors. Turkey is a major geopolitical force bridging Europe and Asia with a diverse and expanding economy. Uruguay is known for its progressive social policies and high quality of life, alongside a robust agricultural sector. Venezuela holds the world's largest proven oil reserves, significantly influencing global oil markets. Zimbabwe is rich in minerals and diamonds, with potential economic growth through its natural resources. As we move forward in our discussion about the potential new members of BRICS, it's important to understand the vast potential these countries bring to the table. However, their inclusion also presents some challenges that need to be navigated carefully. For instance, Afghanistan's mineral resources are a significant attraction for the BRICS bloc but the ongoing political instability in the country raises questions about the feasibility of any partnerships. In the case of countries like Bahrain and Belarus, their financial services and IT sectors, respectively, are of great interest to BRICS. However, their geopolitical relationships with the current BRICS nations, for instance political tension between Iran and Bahrain, could potentially complicate matters. Countries such as Mexico and Indonesia also present an interesting case. Their significant roles in the automotive and digital economies respectively make them attractive prospects for the BRICS alliance. However, their existing trade and political ties with the United States and the West could potentially hinder their full participation in the BRICS bloc. 
Lastly, countries like Venezuela and Zimbabwe have vast natural resources, but their economic instability and political issues may pose a challenge to BRICS. Various nations are eager to join BRICS due to a mix of motivations. These include a desire for alternatives to traditional Western-led global institutions, access to development finance, and opportunities for increased trade and investment. These countries are also responding to perceived inequities in the global order, which were highlighted during the COVID-19 pandemic when access to vaccines was limited in less affluent nations. According to South Africa's Ambassador-at-Large for Asia and the BRICS, this interest underscores a growing trust in BRICS' ability to influence international institutions that have historically been dominated by the United States and Europe. As we consider the future of BRICS, it's essential to understand the potential value that new members could bring to the alliance. If the countries currently interested in joining BRICS were to become members, their combined GDP would reach an astounding $7.37 trillion USD. This figure represents a substantial boost to the economic strength of the BRICS bloc, enhancing the group's standing in global economic affairs. But it's not just about the numbers. These potential members hold a variety of valuable natural resources that would complement the current BRICS nations. For instance, Mexico and Indonesia, rich in oil and natural gas, as well as other minerals and agricultural commodities, could provide a diversified resource base for the alliance. Similarly, Egypt, with its significant natural gas reserves and its strategic geographical position as an energy hub, would add a unique value to the group. Furthermore, countries like Nigeria and Kazakhstan would enhance the group's profile in energy and mineral resources. This increased diversity in resources would not only strengthen the economic resilience of the BRICS group, but also enhance its collective bargaining power in global markets. So as we can see, the addition of these potential new members would not only expand the BRICS alliance in terms of size, but also enrich it with diverse resources and unique strategic advantages. The future of BRICS is indeed promising, with the potential to redefine the dynamics of global economic power. As we dive deeper into the BRICS alliance, it's fascinating to explore the wealth distribution within its member nations. Interestingly, China stands out with five of the top 10 wealthiest cities within the BRICS alliance. Beijing, the capital city, leads the pack with an impressive 125,600 millionaires, and it doesn't stop there. The city also boasts 347 individuals with wealth exceeding $100 million, known as centi millionaires, as well as 42 billionaires. Shanghai, another Chinese metropolis, follows closely with 123,400 high net worth individuals. The League of Chinese Cities in this top 10 list is further complemented by Shenzhen, Hangzhou, and Guangzhou, reflecting China's substantial economic growth. Moving our focus to the Middle East, the United Arab Emirates stands out with its cities, Dubai and Abu Dhabi, featuring amongst the wealthiest. These cities are renowned for their affluent populations and booming economies a testament to the economic diversification strategies implemented by the UAE. Turning our attention to the Indian subcontinent, Mumbai and Delhi, two of India's largest cities, also feature among the wealthiest, indicating the country's growing economic prowess and the increasing wealth of its urban populations. In contrast, Moscow, the capital of Russia, has experienced a decline in its millionaire population. This stark contrast with the rapid wealth accumulation observed in cities like Shenzhen underscores the diverse economic trajectories within the BRICS alliance. As we transition from discussing the wealth disparities within the BRICS alliance, let's shift our focus to the upcoming BRICS summit set to take place in Kazan, Russia in October 2024. This event is of significant importance as Russia takes on the chairmanship of the BRICS bloc this year underlining its influential role in international affairs and the expanding influence of the BRICS Association. The inclusion of new members like Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Saudi Arabia, and the United Arab Emirates is expected to significantly expand the geopolitical influence of the BRICS bloc. The summit, themed Strengthening Multilateralism for Just Global Development and Security, will put the spotlight on key areas including politics, security, economy, finance, and cultural and humanitarian contacts. 
It will feature over 200 political, economic, and public events across multiple Russian cities, reflecting the country's commitment to this alliance. The discussions will likely revolve around reforming international governance structures to better represent emerging economies and enhancing the use of national currencies in trade among BRICS countries. This summit isn't just a diplomatic gathering, but a strategic maneuver to position the BRICS countries as a cohesive counterforce in world economics and politics against traditional Western dominance. Russia also aims to further integrate the new BRICS members into the bloc's activities, fostering deeper economic ties and cooperation in security, technology, and cultural sectors. Several sideline meetings and events focusing on various sectors, including energy, environmental protection, and digital technology are planned as part of Russia's chairmanship. These events will serve as platforms for BRICS countries to collectively advance their interests and will likely feature high-level discussions on using national currencies for trade to reduce dependency on the U.S. dollar. That is all for this video. Now it is your turn. Which countries do you like to join the blocks, which are not mentioned in this video? Please share your thoughts on this subject in the comments.